back to ours for the after party. Princes Harry and William throw doors of Kensington Palace open to Laura Dern and the rest of the Star Wars cast for post premiere bash. Some of the world's most famous faces flocked to the home of Prince William and Prince Harry last night for a right royal celebration. After the premiere of Star Wars, The Last Jedi, the Duke of Cambridge and his brother attended the big bash at the Royal Albert Hall having made cameos in the film, which is expected to rake in hundreds of millions of pounds at the box office. Afterwards stars including Daisy Ridley, John Boyega and Laura Dern were pictured living it up at Kensington Palace with other superstars not involved in the film including former Spider-Man actor Andrew Garfield. Thousands of tickets have already been sold for the film in the UK which is one of the most anticipated movies of the year and is officially released tomorrow. A spokesman for the palace confirmed the event took place in the public section of the grounds run by the historic Royal Palace's charity and was not funded by the princes. It is understood neither of the princes attended the party but the palace would not comment on whether they extended an invitation to the filmmakers and stars. Historic Royal Palace has also declined to comment on who organized the event or funded it, the charity said. We are unable to confirm details of private events hosted at the palace. The party followed a night of glitz and glamour on a red carpet where stars of the film were joined by celebrities including Strictly Come Dancing's Alexandra Burke, model and singer Milan Class and Lee Francis, aka Keith Lemon. The dapper royals donned their finery as they took to the red carpet, with William raising a few eyebrows with his choice of footwear donning dandyish velvet slippers while Harry stuck to sensible brogues. They rubbed shoulders with members of the film's cast and crew including BB-8 ahead of the star-studded screening, which is taking place at the Royal Albert Hall. The brothers have cameo roles as stormtroopers alongside movie hardman Tom Hardy, Boyega has previously revealed. They are believed to appear in a scene alongside Boyega and Benicio del Toro, who plays a shady new character called DJ when the pair are captured in a lift trying to infiltrate an enemy base. The princes were said to be in a good mood during filming, and one of them is said to have cheekily slapped Del Toro's bottom. Last night the two princes were each given a stormtrooper helmet of their own by Lily Chambers, 12, and Eloise Lerner, 8, whose fathers are both executives at Disney. During their red carpet walkabout, William and Harry couldn't have looked more thrilled as they met their childhood hero. Luke Skywalker. William and Harry appeared unable to contain their excitement as they arrived on the red carpet, which was flanked by stormtroopers, at the end of which they were met by lovable robot BB-8, who chattered to them excitedly. Both princes are huge fans of the films and in 2016 toured The Last Jedi's Pinewood Studios set. During that visit, William admitted that he was total Star Wars geek and he and Harry couldn't hide their delight as they got to pose with Luke Skywalker actor Mark Hamill, and Chewbacca, played by Judas Suotamo. Inside the Royal Albert Hall tonight, the two princes conducted a traditional royal lineup, meeting the stars and crew. William could just about be heard chatting with John Boyega and Oscar Ozuck, who plays Poe Damon, about the lift dash which appeared to confirm the story about their cameo appearance. The premiere was hosted in aid of the Royal Foundation, with more than 400 young people, military veterans and volunteers who have taken part in the charities programs attending the event, as well as some of the families affected by the Grenfell Tower disaster. The Last Jedi is the eighth film in the Star Wars saga, following on from 2015's hit The Force Awakens. It is the last film where Carrie Fisher will appear as Princess Leia. The actress died aged 60, shortly after completing her final scenes.